What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today it's spooky season special. We're gonna show you some of our most orangest animals we have, so stay tuned, especially if you like the color of orange and Halloween like every girl out there ever. <laughs> So lately I have been talking a lot about the crimson albino iguanas and I had to start off this video with my guy here. This is a about a he's about a year and a half old or about two years old. He's a crimson albino iguana and what that means is just that he's a red albino iguana. As we know albinism takes away all the dark pigment in an animal so that's why you get this bright orange coloration it actually matches the shirt perfectly so it's perfect way to start off the video now iguanas these guys are they make good pets if you have the amount of space that they require and if you have a little bit extra patience because they're a little bit blind so they're gonna require a lot of like assistant feeding they're gonna require a big amount of space like we said and obviously if you live in some of the southern states if you could keep these animals outside that is the best thing you could do they are a lot more tame than regular iguana so that makes them a better pet than a green iguana but like we said they do require a little bit of extra you know care and the cool thing about these guys here is that they start off pretty yellow and as they age you start putting on more uh, orange and orange coloration the crimson this is a super crimson albino and the crimsons and the super crimsons are going to be just like that they're going to start off like this guy over here they're gonna start off like this and as they age they'll turn into this and now this guy actually when we first got him he didn't have all his all his oranges and you can see in a couple months of being outside in the Florida Sun that really makes his colors pop one of my favorite animals we have here all right guys so what I have right here is an orange northern blue tongue skink Blue tongue skinks are one of the easiest and best pet reptile pets to care for in the world. Um, we actually, if you have seen our videos, you see we actually love these guys so much. We feed them mainly wet dog food with some mix of veggies, which makes it very, very easy, a few times a week. And as you can see, this guy has some gorgeous orange and black colorations, actually perfect for Halloween. And so the thing I like about no these orange northerns, Huh? No more of Halloween no more. blue tongue. <laughs> the thing I actually liked about some of these high color orange northerns is that they actually develop a lot of color in their tail. As you can see, there's a lot of orange markings on there, which is a bit different from the classics. The classics are going to be more brown. And you could even see some colorations on the forearms and sometimes they even get it on their head. So, and then as they get bigger, they actually keep getting better. Northerns, like, they'll keep getting better for like a year, two years sometimes. When they're babies, when they're born, they're kind of brownish, but they get some beautiful colorations as they get older. Very tame pet, very easy to care for. Just an overall, all around incredible, incredible lizard. All right, so another one of my favorite gargoyle geckos we have here is actually this guy here. Now, we always talk about the red stripes, but we rarely ever talk about the orange stripes. This one's like a deep orange stripe gargoyle gecko. He also has those lateral stripes I love so much, as you can see there. And count him. This guy is actually from the UK, so he's a different bloodline than what we usually have here in the US. And we haven't bred him this year. We will be breeding him next year. Well, actually, we're gonna pair up our gargoyles at the end of this year in the in the winter season. And this guy's gonna get a bunch of ladies because as you can see, that color is absolutely unreal. I love these orange striped gargoyle geckos, and I mean does it really get any better than this <laughs> orange stripe gargoyle geckos like i said just absolutely stunning animals all right guys what i have here in my hand is the world's cutest snake this is a western hognose snake they actually get their name from that cute little almost pig nose like no tip that they have so that's where they get their name and this one i'm actually holding is a albino so just like the iguana 
Um, the albino wipes out all that dark melanin and you're left with a yellow and orange animal. This also happens to be an anaconda morph, which means it gets a patterning very similar to a green anaconda. It just reduces the pattern overall. Mm -hmm. So it's like reduced and it's also an albino. And these guys actually eat a lot of like frogs out in the wild. They actually come from the western part of the United States. But in captivity, we feed them all like pinkies or hoppers, anything they can really, any rodent that they can really eat. And they're actually rear fang venomous, which means they have a mild venom that for most people, it doesn't do anything. But if you happen to be allergic to bees, I think it uses the same main protein. So if you are allergic to bees, you do want to be a little careful with these if you get bit. But even then, when you get bit, these guys really have to latch onto you. But for most of us, doesn't cause any problems whatsoever. But an incredible snake. Males get about like two to three feet, so they stay very small. Females can get four or five feet. So they are, the females do get a lot bigger. But other than that, there's no difference between the males and the females. Now, one of the most popular pet lizards in the world have to be these leopard geckos. Now, what I'm holding here is a Tremper albino leopard gecko. And as you can see, they get that bright orange coloration. And these guys are super simple to keep. They're actually very, very uh, docile as well. We don't handle this girl too much, but as you can see, she's not like super squirmy or anything. What we do to keep these guys is basically give them, uh, you can house them for their whole life in like a 10 gallon enclosure. And you want to give them one heat pad on like one side of the enclosure, that way they could thermoregulate. The hot spot should be around like 90 degrees. That's what's going to help them digest their, you know, their food, the insects that they're going to eat. And like I said, these guys are insectivores. They only eat insects. So you're going to feed basically mealworms, crickets, and anything that, any insect that's out in the market, out in your pet store that you could, that's big enough for, for the, to fit in their mouth, they will basically chow down on. They get their name because where the normal leopard geckos actually have a bunch of spots and that's how they, you know, that's how they camouflage in the wild. That's, it helps them um, kind of like blend into the, to the ground and everything. But in captivity, obviously we breed for all these crazy color morphs. And this is one of my favorites, the Tremper albinos. This is also like a tangerine Tremper albino. So it has like a brighter yellow and brighter orange than usual. And these guys, I'm gonna end this video before she wants to freak out. But yeah, great pets, leopard geckos. I'm gonna put her back. All right, everybody, that wraps up another video. Thank you so much for watching. I know we've been slacking on the videos for sure, but it's been really busy here and we're just trying to get our mojo back. As always, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We got all those social media platforms, post individual content on every single one of them. So if you like our stuff, you like seeing animals, Make sure you hit that subscribe and follow button. And see you guys next week. Love you guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>